Hello, in this paper we will talk about the alternate formula for calculating the DRC coefficient in turbulent flow in pipes. Uh, the purpose of this research was to determine uh, an, an alternative formula for calculating the DRC coefficient in turbulent flow in pipes. And the proposed alternate formula is an explicit formula that should uh, be used to replace the colbrook white formula for calculating the Darcy coefficient in turbulent flow in pipes since it, is, it has higher precision than the explicit formulas that are currently in use. In this investigation, the alternate formula was compared with two explicit formulas commonly used in the pipe design, the Swans, Join and Pavlov formulas. To determining which formula is better, all of them were compared with the colbrook white formula and for this average percentage and maximum percentage error of the Darcy coefficient values calculated with each of the explicit formulas were determined with the values obtained with the colbrook white formula. So, as the content, uh, we have an introduction, background, methodology, data analysis, results and conclusions. Um, uh, the importance of the part uh, of the design of simple of complex hydraulic system is the calculation of pressure pipes. So as uh, it's, it's a well-known formula for calculation, uh, the Darcy coefficient for turbulent flow in pipes is a Colbrook White formula. This formula has been used to prepare graphs and determine the Darcy coefficient, as is this case on the MUD diagram. However, the Colbrook White formula has the drawback of being an implicit formula which has to be solved by successive approximations, which is the inconvenient for the calculation. Uh, to solve this problem, many explicit formulas have been proposed that try to approximate the results obtained with the Kurbrook Y formula, Anaya Kauich, Funes Savannah, and Grecia 2014, um, that indicate the Pavlov's formula is the most recommended to replace the Kurbrook Y implicit formula according to Mode in 2006. Okay? So, in the present research, uh, it was demonstrated that an alternative formula proposed by the order is a higher precision than the formulas that are mentioned and that are currently used. Uh, as a background, we have uh, uh, Anaya in 2014 about how they will uh, evaluate the equations of factors of frictions. Uh, in pipes. So uh, also uh, Camarasa and Garcia in 2008 about the equation uh, explicit for the calculus of the factors of friction of the transition zone on the turbulent flow. Uh, so as methodology uh, we developed a design a quasi experimental since the criterion of the randomness uh, in obtaining the data is not met and there is a manipulation of the variables by the researchers. Sampling was carried out at the discretion of the researcher, proposing the values of Reynolds uh, numbers and relative rowness. So the samples were obtained by calculating through the respective formula the curve wide. Remy, Jane, and Pablo, an alternative formula. Uh, the Reynolds number and relative rowness values used to obtain the sample were evenly distributed within the limits of the Kubrick uh, White formula invalid. So, uh, to explain better this uh, formula, uh, it was working with a sample of uh, 7,000 7 Darcy coefficient values of each of the formulas. You said that uh, comparing each of the implicit formulas um, with an implicit Colbrook Y formula. 
So for each of the explicit formula, the mean of percentage error um, and the maximum percentage error Emax were obtained for the Kulbrock white formula. So then these errors were uh, compared with each other to determine uh, which of the formulas is the most appropriate for the calculation. Uh, um, which one is the hypothesis strategy that we use it? So, uh, hypothesis, hypothesis, this strategy, uh, which each for each explicit formulas, uh, the mean percentage error um, and the maximum percentage error image were obtained with the Kubler formula. So in data analysis, the Darcy coefficient depends on the Reynolds numbers, re, and the relative rawness uh, values for Reynolds numbers and relative rawness within the range and application of the Kullbrook white uh, formula were proposed, and the respective Darcy coefficients were determined with the Kullbrook white swimmy Jane Pavlot formulas and the alternative uh, formula. Uh, so in the, uh, this table, uh, we show the calculation of the percentage of errors of the explicit formulas uh, to the Kullbrook white formula. So we have here the calculation of the percentual errors of the formulas with respect with the formula, the Colbrook White. As a result, uh, we have uh, uh, errors percentuales of the, the explicit formulas. As we can see, uh, the sample used, the alternative formula uh, shows an median percentual error of 0.236% and a maximum uh, percentual error of 2.416% in respect of the formula of cold blue white. So both values are uh, uh, so little, so small, significantly than the errors of the formulas Zwim and Jane Pavlot. So at the conclusions, we have that the formula alterna is uh, higher than the other formulas and have some median error equal to 42.7% uh, of error medio of the formula Zwim, Jane. And this is equal to the 14% of error of the formula per lot. So about the maximal error, this is a 77.8% uh, the maximum error of the formula chain. So we can conclude that the alterna formula is the best option for the calculation of the Darcy coefficient for the turbulent flow of the pipes. Thank you very much.